the North Shore of Oahu. He's one of the best surfers in the world. Inspired to get himself in title contention this year. Well, this is John John's opportunity. The places I've traveled, the storms I've chased, the sunny times, the dark times, the things I've learned, my goals, my dreams, my family, the friends I've made, the friends I've lost, the big waves, the small waves, the falls and the makes, the plane rides, the boat rides, the contests I've won, the losses I've had, the bad times, and the good times. Everything has led me to where I am right now, and I'm going to enjoy it. The energy on the whole North Shore before the eddy was incredible. We start walking down and everyone just starts whistling. I'm like, Eli, like, what do you think? Should we go right now? He's like, I don't know. Are we going to get caught inside by a clothes set and get washed to the beach in front of all these people? It was five o'clock in the morning, pitch black out, and no one really knew what was gonna happen. The wave of my brother kind of really set the tone for the whole day. Nerves are gone, everything's gone from that one wave. I was just like, okay, it's so on now. Guys are getting caught inside by these huge closeout sets and getting work and getting good waves. And all like six of the Water Patrol jet skis are flying it towards the beach and there's just like a 25 foot closeout set behind them. And I was like, okay, like here it comes. You're just sitting there looking at the biggest white water you've ever seen. I just want to survive it. John John Florence, huge elevator drop. That was five stories of Pacific Ocean, straight vertical, disappearing in the white water, coming out in complete control. John John Florence, he wants back to the top of the leaderboard, and that's how you do it. First stunt, in memory of Eddie Aikau, your champion in 2016, John John Florence.
So we're going to Snapper, get there and start practicing small waves every day and working with bead. You know, every morning go down there and just surf. Each day you get more and more comfortable and it finds the boards you want to ride. I got out on the water and I was a little nervous. I caught my first wave though. And all that just went away. I made round two and then I made round three. I won round four. Made the quarters. I was winning the whole heat, stoked, like confident, just like, yeah, I'm winning this thing. And then right in the end, like, I just made a huge priority mistake. I ended up taking off on the first wave and just kind of knew the second one was going to be better in the back of my head. The wave was so bad, I just looked out the back and I was just like, damn him. and just watched him do turn after turn after turn after turn all the way in. John John Florence knocked out of the contest. Stuart Kennedy finding a magic ride through the inside and letting go of a number of turns and the emotion starting to fly. It's the best I've done in this event. Quarters isn't bad. And it's a good start to the year. Traveling has always been such a big part of my life. I'm still here to focus on the event, but I'm also just enjoying where I am. It's about finding the balance of enjoying it and having that competitive mindset and that seriousness because that's when you're going to be the happiest, that's when you're going to surf your best. John John Florence, even though he's surfing smarter and he had his best ever finish on the Gold Coast, I haven't seen mind-blowing form from him. Every morning, first thing in the morning, you just paddle out and surf no matter what and just work on board, surfing, whatever. win my first heat, and so I was super stoked on that. I was like, okay, nice heat to have Kaya. A beautiful start from John. Holy smokes. <laughs> that was more aggression than I've seen John put into a wave in a very long time. <laughs> Next wave will set up for Kyle to belly now. Kyle Labelli takes down an inform John John Florence. Wow. Damn it, not again. Literally, like the same thing happened to me again. Couldn't believe it. And now a tough loss for John John Florence. After a decent start on the Gold Coast with a quarterfinal, he will leave Bells Beach with an equal 13th result. I've learned a lot. You know, I've been working with people and getting ideas and listening to people more than I have in the years past. There's some really smart people in the surfing world who've seen a lot and done a lot. And so I like to listen to what their thoughts are on it, what their views are, and you know, how they cope with this moving, natural, unpredictable ocean. John Florence had his heart broken at Bells by Kyle Belly. It's one of the only times I can recall where I've seen John John snap after he lost. He was fired up after that loss. I was really excited to make some heats and be there for a while. And I kind of really had my mindset towards that. 
you're surfing the ocean, it's so unpredictable. You can't control it. I was sitting there in the water and I'm like, okay, I'm just not gonna let him get a good wave. There's a minute 30 to go. I see a bump out of the back. I think there's a set. The chances of him getting close to an eight on this wave are pretty slim. And then I look back and he just does a big air and lands it. There it is, 8.5. John John Florence goes down. Sitting there, putting my head underwater, replaying it in my head, I can't believe I just let that happen. I knew the mistakes that I made. I let him have that wave. Well, John is shattered. The best surfer in the contest form was falling out of the draw. I'm going to go home. I'm going to work harder. I want to win these heats. I don't want to be losing in round three every event. This is never going to happen again.